everybody. Today I thought I'd do a quick video on rejuvenating a tube with uh, a B&K CRT restorer and analyzer. I have a 467. I got this off eBay uh, quite a while ago. And I've only used it a few times. I'm certainly not an expert at doing this kind of thing. But um, this is the, the tapper that I got in this week. And uh, I'm just going through the cab. And I wanted to take a look at the tube, see what kind of condition it's in, and then uh, and see if we have any shorts or, or anything we need to do to maybe just help it out a little bit. So, first thing I did was go into the back of the tube. And if I look at this uh, red label on the back, I can see it's a 510 UEB 22 tube. So, um, I looked in the little B&K manual that comes with the with the restorer and I found a 510 UB 22 but not a UEB 22 so I went online and I double checked and it does it does use the same uh, heater voltage and socket um, actually it doesn't use the same socket sorry it uses uh, 6.3 heater volt but it uses a, a 23 socket which is pretty much the, the most common one um, and I've got my CR23 socket in here. So it looks like we have the, the right one. So we're, we're doing okay so far. Um, so in the back of the manual that comes with the, the B&K is this awesome little cheat sheet that helps you sort of get set up and go through the basics of doing uh, a restore on a tube. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we know we want 6.3 volts. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose setup. Uh, did I plug this in? <laughs> Look at that. I haven't plugged it in yet. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, man. Always prepare before you start doing your videos. Hang on. I just got to put the phone down a second. Sorry. All right. Get some power here. Plug this bad boy in. Power always helps. All right, here we go. Power light. That's good. Okay, so now first thing we're going to do is on this meter here. See, it says heater volts. So I need to set my heater volts to six point three, and you can see six point three is right there. So I'm going to adjust the set heater dial until I rise up here to 6.3 volts on my heater. So I've got that, and we're good on that. So now, I also, I have to set my G1 voltage. Now usually the default is 50 volts for, for G1 voltage. So on the second meter here, you can see G1 volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and turn the G1 dial until I get up to my 50 volts. Not too crazy there. Okay. So now we're pretty good. Pretty good on that. Okay, so now we've done our volts for our heater and our G1. We want to look down here and see if I have any lamps flashing, if I've got any leakage uh, across any of these, uh, any of the guns, RGB, and the heater. So we all look good. I'm not really seeing any shorts or, or flashing there. So overall that looks to be pretty good. So now we're gonna set the cutoff. So we go to the cutoff position and all the meters should probably drop down to about zero. Now it says what we need to do is adjust the dials just so each meter just rises one little measurement. So if I come in onto the, the red here, I'm going to adjust my dial just until I see what, that lift up. That went up, that really spiked down. There we go. Just a little bit, not too crazy. And the next one. Just keep nudging it up until I see a little bit of lift. 
There we go. And this last one. All right, so I set that. Okay, so now it's time to go into test mode. So we're gonna flick it to test. And that's gonna give us a look at each of the guns on the tube and let us know what kind of condition they're in. Now they're all in the in the good zone here, so this is this is pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy uh, about that. Um, obviously, if if it, the guns are in the any of the yellow zones here or, or the red zones, then obviously that's something that we're going to want to sort of address. Um, so we look pretty good there. So I don't think we're really going to need to do any unnecessary sort of cleaning or rejuvenation on the guns because they, they seem like they're pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to test the emission on these. Well, that's Sorry, that's what we just done now. I'm reading through my little shortcuts here. Don't want you guys to think I'm an expert at this because I'm absolutely just following the, the test procedure here. Um, so now we're going to look at the tracking. So I'm going to hold down the tracking button and adjust the tracking control so we can set that whichever gun is showing the highest we want it to point to this line where it says set tracking so whichever the strongest gun is so if I press that then my strongest gun just about the red one so I'm gonna try and do this with, uh, with one hand a bit of DJ skills here trying to do all kinds of buttons and dials at the same time. Turn that up to there. There we go. The tracking is all set there. Um, tracking is okay if the other two guns read in the yellow area above. Um, and then obviously the tracking would be bad if, if they drop down into the, the red area. Um, so now let's check the, the life of the tube. So we're going to just hold down the life button here and we're going to see, just hold it and, and wait until the needles stabilize. So you can see sort of the projected life of the guns there. Blue gun, meh, not looking quite as good as the other two, but overall pretty good. So we could go back to restore on this if we want to do, but I think it's okay. And then, last last test we're going to do here is we're going to press the focus button and uh, the lamp glows if the connection is good. And you can see we've got a glowing lamp there. So, overall, condition of this uh, monitor is, is okay. Not amazing, but uh, it seems to be pretty good. So, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, put it all back together. And uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the picture and see what it's looking like. Okay, so here we are back with Tapper. The monitor's back in the cab now. And um, we're going to take a look at this picture and, and see what we think of it. Um, it's looking pretty nice. I uh, spent a little time dialing in the color. Just kind of getting it to the point where I, I felt like it was nice and balanced. Not too oversaturated, not too bright, not too dark. And uh, try and pull the focus in. And uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's come out pretty nice. Um, let me zoom in there and see that we've got the focus pretty good on it. And the convergence is looking pretty pretty good too. Not perfect, but let's let's go in and look at the, the Bud logo up there. It's looking pretty tight. So overall, I think this is looking really nice now. Um, the monitor is certainly good enough to, to go with the condition of the... The cab itself, very happy with this this purchase. Everything cleaned up and, and ready to go now. So there it is. That was uh, uh, a very amateur attempt at uh, using the B&K rejuvenator to go in and take a look at a, at a tube and use it to sort of assess the state of it and uh, help us sort of dial a monitor in and, and just get it the best that we think it could be. Alright, thanks for watching. 
See you guys next time.